As uh, Monica said, my name is Jason Yurka, the director of the Business Resource Center here in Box Elder County, as well as the Northern Region Director of the Small Business Development Centers uh, that are housed at USU, and that includes Tooele, Box Elder County, Cache County, and Rich County. So that's kind of that vein. It's not just me though, Monica said the things that I can provide, but it's not just me. We have a group of people there that are excellent, and we'll talk about those people a little bit farther along into this. So fair enough, are we ready? And I'm going to assume this is gonna work, and it did. So you know the, the format in presentations, it's the tell them what you're gonna tell them kind of thing, then tell them, then tell them what you told them. So that's what we're gonna do. Here are the questions we'll be discussing today. What is the Box Elder County, Box Elder Business Resource Center? What does it do, how does it do it, and what's the cost? Okay, so what does it do? I've got a mission statement here that basically says that what we do is help businesses grow. That's the point and the purpose of the Business Resource Center. Help them start, help them grow, um, help them be successful. Help businesses and business owners and potential business owners be successful. That's, that encompasses an awful lot of different things that we can do and that we will do, but that's, that's essentially what our mission is. For a one-stop shop, theoretically a business that has a trouble or a problem or has a question can come in and ask that question, discuss that problem or that trouble and then find either an answer to it or be directed to a resource that has an answer to it. Let's see here. How does it do it? This is where the bulk of the presentation will be held and we'll talk about some of the in-house resources that we have. Some of the things that we have at the Business Resource Center, the first the first thing that we have there is the Small Business Development Center. And what would a government program be without another acronymed program inside of it? So we have the BRC that houses the SBDC. And for the most part, they're fairly synonymous, one with another, though the, the BRC is an umbrella organization and the SBDC is a, an organization that fits under that umbrella that does specifically business consulting. And they do the consulting in, um, that's one-on-one -on -one consulting and they do it in a bunch of different bunch of different areas so we've got management financing marketing we do exporting which is really exciting we're bringing that online anyway so i go learn that stuff so you don't have to that's the best part right and then and then when you come to me i can i can give you the pieces of information that are relevant to your business and you didn't have to sit through the 300 dollars two-day training that makes you want to cry so, but that's what we do at the, the Small Business Development Center. We also do Lean and Six Sigma. is extremely beneficial for companies that have any kind of operations going on. We could do a Lean Office or whatever and try to help you trim that fat and, and get your cash flow a little bit better. So there's me, look at this. I have just alphabet soup behind my name, right? I couldn't resist putting that LMNOP back there. But I have, I go and get all these Creditations again so that you don't have to. It saves you the time and the effort of having to go sit through these training courses, but I have all of this, this theoretical knowledge that can, is just waiting to be applied to your business. So please come in and utilize that. It's, it's great for everybody. Um, so it's MBA, obviously, you have to have that for, to be an SPDC consultant. CBA is a is certified business analyst. That's an internal, um, accreditation for the SBDC system nationwide. Then there's Certified Global Business Professional, which is, which is uh, the exporting certification, things like that. Accredited Business Planning Advisor. I don't even really know what that means, but it's good to have. And then the LMNLP. So we have Wendy English, who's also a CBA. She does fantastic work. Wendy worked in industry for, for 20 years or so. She has a tremendous amount of knowledge with marketing. The SBDC, excuse me, also does monthly training classes. And we've been doing those for a little over a year. The cost is very minimal, it's $5, and we provide you a lunch. We bring in professionals in certain fields throughout the year, or when we receive a new training, like Wendy and I are both Riddle of the Exporter certified, we'll provide elements from that in those training classes. And anyone who's interested in being on the list for an email, when we send that out, just send me an email or send Wendy an email and we'll get you on the list. You'll see our contact information later. So some really great uh, opportunities to learn and, and network as well at those kinds of 
classes. But we also do individual company trainings. We've done a couple um, in Tremont and we've done a couple down here. So if, if your company has any specific training that you're looking for for you, hello, for your company and for your employees, we'd be happy to do that too. We also have one of the in-house resources is the Business Expansion and Retention Program, which is the BEAR program. And the BEAR program is actually a vital part of the Business Resource Center. What the BEAR program does is it has an outreach specialist, quote unquote, and the person who does that is Wendy English. So she goes out, she'll visit with your business, she'll ask you a whole horde of questions in a conversational kind of, you know, manner. And then anything that she picks up on that you could use in terms of help in any way, she'll come back and, and disseminate that information to a resource provider. So we've got economic gardening. Economic gardening is this new program. It's taking the nation by storm. You could look it up, economic gardening on Google, and you get all sorts of information about it. Um, basically, the way economic gardening works is we take second stage companies as predefined by a foundation called the Edward Lowe Foundation. But we'll take a company that's got meets those requirements and we'll link them to, to a high-powered research firm and they'll get 40 hours of high-powered research. So the databases and the list that these people are getting are coming from $350,000 per year databases. They'll ask for these the, you know, customer lists or industry lists or sector lists or GIS reports or all those kinds of things. And then somebody can access some really phenomenal information to move their company forward. We've got a business library. The business library is the most underutilized library since the library of vehicle operating manuals. Uh, we have it. It's really great information there, but, but no, one's, no one's done much with it. I've got all these books, all the latest, you know, your guerrilla marketing, your good to greats, all those kind of books that you're expecting to see in any kind of business library. I've got a whole stack of Bloomberg Business Week magazines that are really good to read. Um, I have, I, I bought uh, this, this CD compilation of exporting information. These CDs were not cheap. And in fact, I've made the offer before, but I've got a budget for this business library and it's hard for me to spend it out two seconds, Monica, on my own. So if anyone has a book that they're interested in reading, an industry book, let me know, I'll buy it, and you can rent it from me for free. We have business incubator offices. These are going fast. Um, the concept there is that, that lots of businesses need to, be, need to be officed somewhere, but they struggle to be able to pay rent at, at regular market prices. So we provide incubator offices where they can come and have an office. It's at a greatly reduced price. There is a cost to it. And it's a graduating cost. So the first year is $100 a month. Second year's 200, third year's 300, and then we kick you out. Uh, there's another stipulation that while you're there, you have to have a monthly meeting with SBDC personnel. We have basic web development. That's on account of Curtis Armstrong, I-N-T-E-R-N. -E he's fantastic that way. He's helped, he's helped some clients clean up their websites. We do, we have a brand new product photography studio, and I have to be really careful with this one because I don't intend the BRC to be competitive with any for-profit business and I, I don't intend for any photography, legitimate for-profit photography studio to have any competition here. The, the idea here is for um, people who have product that they want to put online and in, in, in their website, they can take a real basic picture. I'm not a photographer, I don't know anything about it, I don't know where to put the lights, but I have the equipment to do it if you need it. We have commercial video storyboarding. We used to say that we'd actually help you create a commercial and that hasn't gone as well as, as I wish it would have. I, again, I, I lack the personal knowledge in creating a lot of videos and, and I'm not an actor so we're really good at coming up with storyboards but then when you get to the who's going to act this out it gets really awful if I'm there. So we'll help you create a storyboard and we may even shoot like a like an initial, this is what it could look like, but at that point you'd take that and go to a real firm that, that creates marketing videos, but we can help you prepare that way. And we'll have you play pickleball. So that's probably the most important one on here. Uh, Utah State University's put together a couple pickleball courts, and to the victor go the spoils. 
So there's one client, by the way, I worked with for a couple hours. It was an exhausting couple hours for him and for me. We got a lot done. And at the end he said, oh, what can I do for you guys? And I said, right now, more than anything, I need to play pickleball. And he perked right up. It was the best thing. So we went down and he, he'd never played before. I'd played an awful lot and he trashed me. It's just not fair. Uh, but two weeks later, I get a text message from him that has a box full of pickleball stuff. And he said, he said, on account of the BRC, we now have pickleball in, in my facility. We, have, we also have outside resources. Okay, what's the cost? Here we go. So the BRC is sponsored by all sorts of entities. The county, the county puts in quite a bit. USU Brigham City does. GoEd puts in some. USU Extension does. And the, U, the Utah Small Business Development Center Network. So the question is, what does that mean for those who visit the center? Monica talked about it already, but it's free. Although I do like to say no cost, right? And no cost, there it is. Because free means cheap and not good quality, but we are the best quality free you've ever met.